Hey guys, Colton Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101 here. Welcome back to the walkthrough of the Dell Dimension 4600 running Windows XP Home Edition. And this is the 2019 edition of this walkthrough. And um, I think this is a. Uh, I don't know what part this is. But uh, after I try to log on, I'm going to have to find out what part this is. Because I need to know how many parts I've done so far on this channel for this walkthrough. So, yeah, let's log in. So, alright, let's log in. Alright. It's going to play the startup sound any second now. Yep, there we go. Oh, and yeah. While this computer is logging me in, I'm going to have to find out how many parts I've done because I really want to know. Besides, um, I don't really think I have done stuff like this in, like, days. Oh, look, this computer is logging me in pretty quickly. Oh, look, this, this task bar is up there, and even the icons. But still, we're going to have to check and see how many parts I've done for this walkthrough. So, I'll be right back. Alright, viewers, I'm back now. I've checked on my YouTube channel. And it seems that right now, I'm now on part 8. So, this is part 8 of the Dell Dimension 4600 walkthrough. You know, the 2019 edition. So, yeah. With that being said, let's just go... So yeah, um, the last time we did a Microsoft Money tutorial, it was on entering checks and deposits. This time we're going to be doing, um, you know, the Lifetime Planner. So, yeah. Let's just go to the Start menu. Click here to begin. Green Startup button. Yeah, the green Start button. So yeah. Yeah, I don't really feel like doing a cassette recording today because I'm busy. I've got lots of stuff to do. So, unfortunately, I don't really feel like it. Okay, I mean, I know I had checked on my phone just to check on my channel. But this is still taking a little bit long because I do not want to waste my space on this because... I was recording a reaction video earlier this morning just to upload it to Datamotion, but I can't upload it right now. I'll do it a little later though. Anyway, yet the start menu's up. Now let's go to my computer. Let's click on it. There we go. There's the hourglass. I'm very glad that this computer brings back so many good memories, especially the Windows XP stuff, because that brings back good memories. You know, the start menu brings back good memories, especially this taskbar. So yeah, I'm using some pictures on shows I never even watched until like 2017 or maybe 2018. You know, for example, Sonic Underground, which in case I put this picture up because... I had to start watching Sonic Underground more often in 2018, so that way I could get things ready. Just to watch that kind of show, you know, Sonic Underground in 2019, you know, for Stars Encore. And yeah, speaking of Sonic, you know, um, Sonic SATEM, Sonic Underground, and Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog are going to be airing once again tomorrow on Stars Encore. And, um... For Sonic SATM, the episode tomorrow will be Sonic Conversion. And for Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, I don't really know what episode it's going to air tomorrow, but I'll, I'll look on my schedule and see if, if I can look at it. But for Sonic Underground, I think, uh, I think the episode that's going to be airing tomorrow is called The Pendant. Well, you know, on May 18th, it might say Virtual Danger. So I guess the last two episodes are eventually, like, in order, I guess. At least that's better than not having it in order. Although it used to be in order, and then it skipped, like, a few episodes, maybe, and then the gnat. 
What a coincidence. So, yeah. But this is going to take a long time, so we're going to have to, like, pause the recording and just wait for this thing to load. So, we'll be right back. Oh, look, a flashlight. All right, guys, we're back. I got the thing opened up. Now let's go. Local disk C drive. Then we will go to program files. And then Microsoft Money, Media, AV Help. And then we will go to 09LI. Here we go. I've been worrying lately. What's going to happen to our finances when we send the kids to college? And when can we afford to retire? We can set up our long-term financial goals and get tailored information with Microsoft Money's Lifetime Planner. That's great. How does it work? First, we enter information about ourselves, our income, investments, and assets. Then we enter our living expenses and also any special expenses we expect to have in the future. Oh, things like college tuition, the sailboat, our vacation home? Exactly. Then money shows us whether we'll actually have the cash for these expenses. If our forecast doesn't work at first, money gives us suggestions on how to improve it. Then, when we're done creating our plan, money shows us how to make it a reality. Where did you start? I just started here at the top and worked through each page in order so I could be sure I wouldn't leave anything out. But where did you get all those numbers? Well, money automatically included information from the accounts we've already set up. But there were a few places where I had to get our financial papers. Okay, so what were the results? Our plan doesn't work just yet. See, our forecast goes below zero right here. Well, we can't have that. But we can fix this. First, let's double-click that year to zoom in on the problem. Oh, we're both retired that year. So how are we going to afford tuition, retire early, and buy a vacation home? Let's use Money's personalized suggestions to refine our plan. Let's see. Money says we could save more money, or reduce our retirement living expenses, or we could retire later. No, no. Retiring early is really important to me. Isn't there anything else we could do? Well, it also says we could buy a less expensive vacation home than we had planned. Let's try that. So, in the Assumptions page, we go to Vacation Home and click Purchase Price. Let's say 150 k That should be good enough. We can also look more closely at other future expenses. As much as I hate the thought, how about if we put off buying our sailboat? Okay. We can just exclude it from our plan for now. So we can include it again later. Right. We're just doing this as a what-if scenario. Let's click Results. Then, Comparing Plans. Now we can compare our changes against the original plan and see how much we've improved. Let's check that bottom line again. Looks like we still need to tweak the numbers to get the plan exactly the way we want, but we're getting closer. Remember, Money's suggestions also said we could save more. Okay, let's go back to the Savings and Investments page for that. In Savings Contributions, we can increase how much we're going to set aside for savings. Now how does it work? Perfect. With those adjustments, we can afford to send all the kids to college, retire at 60, and buy our vacation home. Are we done now? Pretty much. Having a plan is great, but not unless we follow it. Now we go to the action plan, where we can set up reminders about our progress. There are also lots of great suggestions, like how much to save each month and what types of investments we can make. And we can always come back and change something in our plan if our situation changes. This way, we can ensure that our financial plan will really work. And we can feel secure knowing that our dreams and plans for the future can really happen. Excuse me. That's it for using the Lifetime Planner tutorial. I don't even know why. I can't speak. Okay. Um, for the next part, we will, use, we will do this tutorial for the next part. And it will be on creating a budget. My favorite tutorial ever on this. So yeah. Part 9 will be the next part where I'll be doing this tutorial to be watched right here. So creating a budget will be the next part. So anyway, viewers, uh, we got to do something before we end this video. So.
So yeah, viewers, remember the time when, you know, the one time when I tried to get Encarta Encyclopedia Standard Edition in 2004 to show up that one ad? Well, it didn't show the ad, so let's just try to see it. Let's try this again and see if the ad shows up. Let's open up Encarta Encyclopedia. We don't need that, so we're fine. Yes, I like the logo on there. I, I don't really think it might show it, though, unfortunately. Because t I don't know what to say. Well, that's a cool ad. I forgot about that. But we're going to end this part for now because I don't want to waste my space on the tablet. So yeah, that will be about it for part 8 of my 2019 edition of the walkthrough of the Dell Dimension 4600 running Windows XP Home Edition. So, yeah. Part 9, which will be the next part, it'll be on creating a budget for the Microsoft My Tutorial stuff. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. And yeah, I cannot believe it's Friday. I'm very happy. So yeah, um, the weekend is coming. And yeah, um, the school year is going to be ending in a few weeks because it's May 10th and all that. So yeah, very exciting, isn't it? Alright, viewers. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time for part 9. Which in case, it, I think it might come out tomorrow because... Uh, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to do like another part of my Let's Play of Just Dance 4. But yeah, thank you viewers for watching this video. See you guys next time for part 9 of this walkthrough where I will play the tutorial on creating a budget. Yeah, thank you for watching. See you guys next time. This is Colton Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101 signing off. Peace out everybody. Have a great time and have a great weekend.